Hello everybody, it is Nicole from Ikiwi, and today we are drawing Rapunzel as a Winx fairy. So let's not waste any time and hop right into the video. For her design, I based it off her purple dress from the movie, the sundrop flower, lanterns, and the sun symbol from the Kingdom of Corona. So basically, I based it off everything from the movie. I took elements from her dress and I tried to make it more fairy-like by making it off the shoulder, and I gave her skirt a tiered look. I originally was going to keep her hair loose and flowing, but later decided to put it in the braid just because it would be a lot of hair to color, but I also thought that a braid would give it a little bit more of a whimsical look. I based her wings on the flower and the sun symbol, with the shape being based off the sun rays, and later you'll see the inner details are based off the flower. Because I made her skirt really long and the pose with what it was, I had to use two pieces of paper taped together to draw the entire thing. I also used a larger piece of Bristol paper to transfer it on, which all the materials I'm using today will be linked and listed in the description down below. For the colors, I stuck with her main color scheme of purple, pink, and yellow slash gold. For her hair, I started off with a yellow marker and colored the entire thing, but I shaded it with pink to give it more of a strawberry blonde look. Depending on what shadow color I chose, it can definitely change the look of the hair. If you want a tutorial or a video on that, I can definitely do that for you guys in the future. So in order to give the outfit more dimension, I tried to use a few more shades of purple than just sticking with the lilac color. I also knew that I wanted the lanterns in her inner skirt at the bottom to pop, so I made sure that that was a dark purple, and this helped me determine the colors for the remaining tiers because I went in between the darkest purple and the lilac color that was on her top. For her wings, I added a slight gradient, having the darkest shade near the center and blending it to be lighter on the edges. I did this for both the gold parts and the purple parts. I also wanted to make sure that the wings didn't really blend into the hair because they are both yellow, so I tried to make the edges where they meet contrast, if that makes sense. One of the last details I added was using gold and white gel pen to add some sparkle, but also helped reinforce the magical part of the flower. I originally outlined the lantern's inner skirt white, but it didn't really look that good, so later I went over it again with the gold gel pen, and it definitely looked a lot better that way. I also added some gold gradient dots in her wings, making it more compact near the center and then fraying out towards the edge. Overall, I like how she turned out, but I do think that her skirt is a bit stiff or static and could have used some more movement to help the whole piece flow a little bit better. Honestly, I've been in a bit of an art rut lately and I've been struggling to create videos, so I apologize for the delay on this video. But either way, I hope you all enjoyed my design of Rapunzel as a Winx fairy. I'll be posting the poll for the next character in the community post soon, so be on the lookout for that. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more marker related videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you're notified of when I post new videos. So with that, I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. Keep drawing, keep creating, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!